when we connect an ac supply to a purely inductive circuit in that case what is the situation of voltage and current and more importantly what is the situation of power in such circuit in an inductive circuit the situation of power is really really interesting and as a result the video is also going to be interesting so if you want to get all this detail in the easiest way possible then you need to watch the video So here we have a simple circuit wherein we have connected an AC supply to our purely inductive circuit. Now first of all before we start it is important for you to understand what is a purely inductive circuit. Well uh, we call an inductor as a pure inductor when it has zero resistance and also the capacitance of it must be infinite. Only then we can call an inductor as pure inductor and we are going to discuss everything in this video considering the inductor is pure now in the previous video we discussed about uh, ac through res resistive circuit and we saw that resistance simply opposes the flow of electrons so it really doesn't matter if it is alternating or uh, direct current or uh, you know 5 ampere 15 ampere 500 ampere it really doesn't matter resistor simply opposes the flow of electron but when we talk about an inductor inductor do not behave same to that of resistor what inductor does is inductor opposes the change in current right and how they oppose they oppose the change in current by drawing or supplying the voltage which is you know directly proportional to the rate of change of current so inductor tries to maintain a constant current that is flowing through them and how one can control current well that takes us back to the ohms law which says voltage is directly proportional to the current provided the resistance is constant right so if resistance is constant then it is very much clear that the current is directly proportional to the voltage one can control current if he or she can control the voltage clear and the same thing happens in case of inductor now as we have seen inductor opposes the change in current so if you are passing a continuous current through it it is okay but if you are passing an alternative current then the inductor is not okay inductor will start opposing that and how it oppose so let's say current is going from zero to its maximum position now what inductor does is inductor tries to maintain the current at a constant level and to do that it drops the voltage to zero so that it can bring back the current uh, you know to its previous position that is the zero position right here it drops the voltage to zero so similarly when current goes down from maximum to zero uh, what inductor does is inductor push more voltage in the circuit so that the current can get back to its original position that is the maximum position right clear and that is the reason why you will see in in an inductive circuit whenever current is maximum the voltage is zero and when current is zero the voltage is maximum now with this understanding we can actually draw the waveform for voltage and current in an inductive circuit so on the right hand side you can see the green waveform indicates the current waveform and the orange waveform indicates the voltage waveform so you can notice when current is maximum at this position here the voltage is zero why because the inductor is trying to drop the voltage so that the current will also drop which was its original position that is zero now the next step you see when current is zero the voltage is maximum why because again uh, inductor is pushing more voltage so that the current will get back to its previous position which was the maximum position so similarly when current drops to its negative peak the inductor drops the voltage to zero right and that is the reason why there is a difference between when the current reaches to its peak value and when voltage reaches to its peak value and if you notice that if let's say uh, current is reaching to its maximum value at 90 degree then voltage is re reaching its maximum value at 180 degree so there is a gap of 90 degree right and hence in inductive circuit voltage and current are said to be 90 degree out of phase with each other clear so that is how voltage and current behave in case of purely inductive circuit they are out of phase by 90 degree with each other now 
the interesting part now we are going to discuss about the power situation in an inductive circuit so let us consider the first section here wherein you have to focus on 0 to 90 degree now in this portion you will notice current is positive but the voltage is negative and power is what power is multiplication of a voltage and current so when you multiply a positive value with a negative value the resultant is always a negative right and as a result the power during this portion is also negative power clear now let us focus on 90 degree to 180 degree now during this portion both voltage and current are positive so definitely the output power will also be positive clear in the third section 180 degree to 270 degree the current is negative but the voltage is positive but still the resultant will be a negative power and during 270 to 360 degrees both voltage and current are negative and negative multiplied by negative will always give us a positive output and hence the power will also be positive now the interesting fact about this type of power is that you will notice we have two equal positive peaks here and two equal negative peaks and they cancel out each other because they are equal and as a result the actual power consumed by an inductor is zero right it is zero now first let us understand what is this negative power mean well negative power means inductor is actually delivering power back in the circuit and the positive power indicates that inductor is consuming the power from the circuit and negative indicates it is delivering power back in the circuit now this is exactly opposite than what we have saw in the resistive circuit the resistive circuit we have saw you calculate instantaneous power at any instance of the waveform the resultant power is always a positive power and that we call it as active power but in case of inductor that is not the case you will see the power is zero because the positive peaks and negative peaks are cancelling out each other so the resultant power is zero and whenever power goes negative we call that power as reactive power or imaginary power right clear so actually inductor is not taking any actual power to you know do perform some useful work it is taking imaginary power or reactive power now we can also prove this using the mathematical expression that the inductor do not consume any active power so let's do that here so power formula we know is p is equals to v times current times the cos theta now what is theta theta is the angle between voltage and current now in case of resistive circuit that was zero and hence the power was simply p is equals to v times current clear but in inductive circuit the theta that is the angle between voltage and current is 90 degree so it will be p is equals to v times current times cos theta cos 90 degree and if you find the value of cos 90 degree it is zero right so the resultant power is zero watts now we are talking about actual power so whenever there is a purely inductive circuit it will not consume any actual power right but since we are talking here both about voltage and current the consideration of cos theta may not be the right choice so what we have to do is we have to consider sin theta so if you put theta value in this equation that is sin 90 degree and that is 1 so the resultant power that you will get is p is equals to v times current and that is var the unit is var that is volt ampere reactive and this is reactive power this is imaginary power this is not actual power and since this is a reactive power we do not denote it with letter p it is denoted by letter q always remember that and do not get confused between watts and var watts is where there is only active power and we use var volt ampere reactive or kvar kilo volt ampere reactive whenever there is a reactive power present in the circuit so since inductor is consuming re reactive power the unit is var right and that is the situation of power in an inductive circuit very very interesting thing to understand now uh, let us quickly summarize the video we will discuss about what we have discussed so far uh, in the quick summary part here inductor opposes the change in current by drawing or supplying the voltage and hence in inductive circuit when current is maximum voltage is zero and vice versa 
an inductive circuit current and voltage are out of phase by 90 degree purely inductive circuit do not consume real power power consumed by inductive circuit is imaginary power or it is also called as reactive power so that is all for this video guys i hope the video was helpful and you understood what is the power situation in case of an purely inductive circuit if the video helped you do like the video and do share it with the electrical engineers you know and for such easy to understand video make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss any of the upcoming videos so that's all for this video guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning